Welcome back. I am out in the garage again for the first part of this video. I received this mock wheel e-bike that I wanted to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and get it assembled so I can take it out for a test drive. I have everything out of the box and everything is laid in front of me that I'm going to have to install on it. It did come with an air pump for the tires. I have a front fender that I'm going to assemble. I have the two bike pedals. I do have my owner's manual. It looks like two reflectors. It also came with two wrenches, so I'll be able to um, tighten things as I need to. A hex key set, and then some mis miscellaneous parts to help get me um, things all the way installed. And then it did also come with the battery. The battery came in its own um, box, so when, I, when it's time, I will go ahead and install that. And it's going to come right up underneath of the bike in this frame. In looking at the owner's manual, the first thing I need to do is go ahead and install the handlebars, which seems like a pretty easy process. I just need to remove these four bolts and then put the handlebars up and put the bolts back in. So let's get started with the assembly. I have the handlebars on it. I do have to adjust them once I get the wheel on and the seat adjusted, that way I'll have proper fit for when I'm riding. The next step I need to do is go ahead and put on the front fender and the headlight. I got the front fender and headlight installed. The next step would be the front wheel. The manual does recommend you flipping the bike upside down to put the wheel on. With a little bit of help, I think that I can just leave it the way it is and get that wheel installed. By all means, if you're by yourself, I can definitely see flipping it upside down and getting it easily installed that way as well. So let's get the wheel on and from there, I just have a few more things that I need to assemble. Let's keep going. I have the front wheel put on. I did start adjusting the handlebars and the seat. I'll need to fine tune it once I actually am riding the bike. The next step is to go ahead and put on the foot pedals and that puts me one step closer to finishing this bike. The last thing I need to do is to go ahead and install the battery. It does come up underneath of the bike, so let me carefully guide it. You have to push the bottom in first and then you're just gonna click it into place. Once you hear the click, you know that it's fully installed. So all that's left is to charge it up and take it out for a ride. Before taking this mock wheel, Tour Plus e-bike out. Let me go ahead and show you some of the features about it. If you want more specific information about their specifications on this particular bike, be sure to go to their website. There will be a link to their website in the description of this video. Looking at your handlebars, you do have an on and off switch for the headlight. There is an electric horn. Your button right here is going to turn on the e-bike and the LCD display for you. You have a seven speed Shimano shifter. There is a half twist throttle. And then of course you have your handlebars. With this particular bike, the handlebar actually has a couple different ways that you're able to adjust it. That way you can have the perfect fit for when you're riding. You have your locking system for your suspension, headlight, of course the front and rear fenders. You do have your luggage rack. And then if you wanted to charge your bike while the battery was in, you have your charging port right here. Those are just a few of the things that I wanted to point out before I went ahead and took this bike out for the first ride. Before going up this hill, I am gonna go ahead and change my pedal assist just so I have a little bit of help going up. I don't mind working a little bit, but easier having that help getting up the hill. Makes it a whole lot easier, that's for sure. No problem coming up this little hill. Lots of power to this bike. With these fat tires, riding on this dirt road is very, very smooth and the seat is definitely very comfy, which is very important when you're on a bike.
bike has three different gear modes on it. So you can have a walk mode, you can have a cruise mode, and then you have the pedal assist mode. With the pedal assist, you do have five different levels on it. The higher the number for the pedal assist, the more help you're going to get. So if you really just want a bike and just do nothing but pedal and work out the entire time, leave it on zero. But if you get to those spots where like, oh, I just want a little bit more assistance, start clicking that button up so that you're at the right level. When it comes to charging this Mop Filter Plus, it's going to take between five and six hours to fully charge it. But once it's fully charged, you're going to get up to possibly 30 miles on a single charge, depending on how you're riding it, depending on the conditions, if you have a lot of hills, how much pedal assist you're going to be using with it. payload capacity. That was a lot of fun. I definitely want to say thank you to Mockwheel for sending me this Tour Plus to, to have a chance to ride it and to share with you guys. If you are looking for an e-bike, definitely go do your research but check out their website to see if this is a bike that you know you might want to purchase i want to thank everybody for watching and as always have fun and stay safe